वेलकम टू सेंटर फॉर ऑनलाइन एजुकेशन उत्तर प्रदेश स्टूडेंट ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी फ्रेंड ऑन द सीरीज ऑफ रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एंड एक्सप्लोर एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया दैट इज नोन एज रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर सम कॉल्ड इट एज लिटरेचर रिव्यू नाउ लेट सी दैट वॉट इज रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर सो द कंप्रहेंसिव बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द लिटरेचर विद इन द इंटरेस्टेड टॉपिक एरिया इज नोन एज रिव्यू ऑफ लिटरेचर दिस इज द डिफिनेशन गिवन बाय गवर्नमेंट एंड मैथलॉज इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन वाइल एन अदर डिफिनेशन इज गिवन बाय मैशी एंड मैकोनो हु सेट दैट रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट प्रजेंट्स आर लॉजिकली आर्ग्यूड केस फाउंडेड ऑन अ कॉम्प्रहेंसिव अंडरस्टैंडिंग of the current state of knowledge about the topic of the study means whenever we are going to conduct any study we are going to frame certain problems now this problem which we are going to form the problem statement is from the past study which is being done in that area how we are going to know that what are the past study which is being done in that specific area for that we are going to explore the review of literature we have to go through the literatures of the past which the past study has been done and on the basis of that study we can conclude that this is the person who have conducted the study on this area and this is the finding which this person has found now what is the difference between that study and our study so the difference between the past study and our study is known as the research gap on which we are going to work now we have to explore another area that why we need review of literature why we need the first one is is defines a concept it tells you about the area in which you are going to explore the topic which you are going to take if you are going to do any analytical study on the it companies you have to explore and get the concept of the it companies and the human resource management if you are going to do then map the research scope means what are the area of the study what is the scope of the study by the help of review of literature you are going to definitely get an accurate prediction that this is the scope of our study then synthesize relationship between concepts there are different concepts if you say that you are going to conduct a study on an analytical study of human resource management in the indian software company means here you are going to work on the indian it companies what human resource management and the area of the studies in india so here there is a specific relationship that you are going to take it companies you are going to take the human resource management of that it companies and the area of the study is india means it gives a real true accurate concept about the relationship between the factors which you have taken for the study then identify gap in the literature the past study and our study there are different studies that has been conducted in the past about that specific area so what are their objectives what are their hypothesis what are their findings and what is the area in which we are going to explore what are our objectives what will be our hypothesis and what will be our findings that is the thing which we say that this is the gap which we are working on and which we are trying to fill now an effective literature review must contain these specific points the first one is methodologically analyze and synthesize quality literature of the topic means whenever you are going to do a review of literature you must adopt a specific methodology and you have to synthesize it in an accurate manner there must be a respective area in which you are going to explore the topic of review of literature will be somewhat similar to the area in which you are going to do your study it provides a firm foundation to the topic of research area review of literature tells researcher about what is the specific area in which he is going to explore and what is the study in the past has been done it tells us a specific simple way on which a researcher has to move and what will be the findings by the help of review of literature a framework is being understood and made by a researcher for his present study then provides a firm foundation for the selection of research methodology 
by the help of the past study, a researcher can easily understand that what methodology he can adopt. Because the past study tells that this is the area in which the past researchers has explored and has got the different dimensions and the results. And according to that, the present researcher can make and form their research methods. Then demonstrate that the proposed research contributes something new to the overall body of knowledge of advances the research field's knowledge basis. Means whatever study you are going to do is going to contribute somewhat new to the field of knowledge and it is going to give some innovative methods in the area in the field in which you are conducting your study. Now types of review of literature. There are various types of review of literature which we can do. The first one is the conceptual. If we are doing any descriptive study, the first thing we must require is the concept. As I have taken an example of analytical study of human resource management in the software industry, the first concept over here is this, that what is human resource management. So whenever you are going to conduct any descriptive study, the first thing required is the concept, the knowledge of the concept which a person has. So review of literature helps to understand the concept of each and every dimension and topics which a researcher is taking for his area. The second one is empirical. Empirical means done on the past study. Some study has been conducted in the past and now presently the study is being done to enhance and explore the various other dimensions which has not been conducted in the past. So taking things from a different dimensions, looking things from a different dimensions and perspective and analyzing it from a different perspective gives us an empirical study. Then exploratory study. Exploratory study means you are going to get a different dimension from an area which is being not studied earlier. Means you are finding something innovative. You are moving to an area which is being not previously explored. So when you are exploring something new, we are going to say that it is an exploratory study. By the help of review of literature, sometimes we get an area that these are the dimensions which are not being explored and must be explored in the future researchers. So here review of literature helps a researcher to explore the new dimensions in which the past study hasn't have worked on. Then focused. Review of literature helps the researcher to have a focused approach about its objective, hypothesis and his research design. Review of literature tells that the past study has been conducted on the specific objectives. So here the present researcher is going to make his own objectives and on the basis of that objective he are going to focus his specific study to get the best outcome. Integrity means here some integration must go on. A researcher must be curious about his findings. He should find something new. If the thing is happening, why it is happening? And the question of that why should be answered by the researcher. So by the help of review of literature, some new integration is being there which a researcher should understand and take his for his future study and explore that dimension also. Then narrative and traditional means here by the help of review of literature, we can narrate certain specific objectives which is being done in a traditional manner. The way of writing the review of literature is simple. By the name of author, by the name of year, you are going to give the certain objectives which they have done and what they have done, what they have concluded. So para-wise, you are going to frame it and write it in your study. Then systematic review. By the help of review of literature, as I have told you, that systematically you can write it ascendingly, year-wise or ascendingly from the surname, you are going to say that this is the study conducted by this person and this is the objective which they have found and this is the difference from our study. So review of literature gives us a systematic review pattern on which we are going to conduct our study. Now, how to write review of literature? This is a big question. 
because the researcher always used to find that how you are going to present your review of literature. The first one is introduce the topic and define its key terms. Whatever topic of your study is this, you have to define its key terms. And on the basis of that key terms, you have to explore the different researcher which has been done in the past. So, introduce the topic means first you make a topic and according to that topic you have to select certain key terms and on the basis of that key terms you have to search the literature which is being done in the past study. Then establish the importance of the topic. Importance of the topic means that why you are conducting that study on that specific area, the relevance of that study. So whenever you are going to find the relevance of that study, automatically you are going to justify that this is the study being conducted for that area because this is the importance for that topic. So review of literature helps us to establish the relevance of the specific topic. Now provide an overall provide an overview of the amount of the available literature and its type means how many types of literatures have been there whether it is theoretical statistical speculative whatever been there you have to take all the reviews of literature into consideration you have to go through all the studies and according to that you have to select that what are the studies which are somewhat similar to our study what are the studies which are going to be helpful in our study and after selecting that study you have to take the name of the author the year in which the study has been conducted and what is the important point which is being taken into consideration identify gaps in the literature means what we are going to do and what is done in the past this is known as the research gap so you have to find that this is a person who have done this study in the this year and now in this year we are also going, going to do study but we are going to do study with a different dimension while that person has done the study from a different dimensions our study is different from that study in this 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 area so here review of literature helps us to know about the gap research gap and we are going to fill that research gap by the help of our study. Point out consistent finding across the studies means whatever study has been done in the past, you have to chalk it, you have to write it in the point wise. You have to take an author, you will write the name, the year and what are the studies point which he has done. What are the suggestions conclusion he has given. So para wise you have to write it in your own study. Arrive at a synthesize that organize what is known about the topic. Now you have make a point by description and you have to come into a conclusion that this is the study conducted by this person this year and this is the conclusion which he has given. So our study will be somewhat different from the study of that person. Now discusses possible implication and direction for the future research means the, how our research is going to be you have to write at the end of the review of literature that this is the past study which has been conducted by different other peoples and now for our study we have a, going to explore or we are going to write an empirical study on this specific area where it needs more clarity more explanation more analysis so on that basis review of literature is going to help a researcher to understand about the topic and get the framework that what are the area in which he has to explore. Now common literature review errors. What are the errors which a researcher used to find while conducting a review of literature? The first one is accepting another research finding as valid without evaluating methodology and data. If you say that the past research is altogether right. You have to see that what a researcher has done, what methodology he has adopted and where from where data has been collected. So if everything has been relevant, you can say it is a valid study. So for a review of literature, the study of the past is very important. So the first 
think a researcher should do that he should have to authenticate that whatever work he is going to take is authentic valid and reliable then ignoring contrary findings and alternative interpretations means here sometimes the past study has same work or to get a similar work which has been done in the past but a researcher is sticking and giving prior to to that activity sometimes it ignores the work which has been done in the past feeling that the work is not accurate so this is an other common error which a researcher used to find in his work then providing finding that are not clearly related one's study or that are too general means here the findings which are too general or which is not clear is being considered in the study so whenever you are getting you are taking a study which is not clear in its own automatically a researcher has a problem in his review of literature allowing insufficient time to define best search strategies and writing means here for strategies and writing you are allowing insufficient time giving a lot of time in review of literature in relevant study you are studying you are exploring in the different areas without your specific area of study so a researcher should consign to his own field the topic which he is taking and on according to that topic he has to explore reporting rather than synthesizing isolated statistical result means here reporting more and more reporting that this has been work done by this statistical tool applied by this statistical tool hypothesis has been accepted rejected spss methods has been adopted so all these things are researchers is doing but he is not synthesizing the activity for review of literature a researcher must have to synthesize his work so what is the use of that work in our study he has to take it and after that he has to go to the methodology adopted by the past study then choosing problematic or irrelevant keywords subject headings and descriptions whenever you are going to search your research review of literature you must have to see that there must have a relevant topics relevant keywords relevant subjects relevant headings if any irrelevant words keywords you are going to take and consider for review of literature automatically whatever values you are getting is irrelevant for your own study so here a researcher must have to take sufficient care for his keyword topic headings which he has to take for the search of his research work relying too heavily on secondary sources so here sometimes researcher only works on the secondary data so secondary data has its own limitations so for a review of literature you must consider the topics which has been done in the secondary data but relying too heavily on the secondary data makes your research a waste it might be that in the secondary data what you are going to do in your study is not being relevant so here sometimes primary data helps a researcher to confine into accuracy and the best outcome about his result failing to transparently report search methods means in the past whatever work has been done you don't know that how a research has been done in the past so you are taking the data of the past and using in new study so a researcher doesn't know that what has the limitation of the past data so this is a common error which a researcher used to have so here one must consider that whatever data a researcher is taking for his own study should be authentic reliable valid and must be in a primary form based by or backed by secondary data summarizing rather than synthesizing articles means again i am saying you that a researcher must synthesize put effort in synthesizing the activity rather than summarizing the activity because making summary and writing and giving the output is no use for the future research rather than synthesizing it that this is the work and this activity is somewhat synthesized with our work therefore we are considering it 
for our review of literature. So these are the different dimensions on which a researcher must explore to get the proper finding. Review of literature is somewhat backbone for any research. If your review of literature is good, authentic, valid, reliable, automatically your work will be very easy and your findings will be very good. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.